Hello. We had so many funny things that have happened in church that our first video went a little bit long. So here is episode two of Laugh in Church. So I don't know why I don't learn, but oftentimes I will refer to one of our male uh, team members and say, Stephen's hot. And, and of course he's going, why, thank you very much. And I'm going, no, 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 no. It means he's loud. Mike is too loud. And you, it's a term that you use in, in uh, audio, but mm -hmm. I, I haven't learned, and I've called several worship team members hot. None of them are as hot as this man here to, oh, uh, yeah. to my side here. Okay, there you yeah. go. get your chuckle. <laughs> no, it's true, but it is embarrassing. I, I think they're used to it now, and maybe mm -hmm. it's flattering. I don't know, but I get embarrassed. Oh. And I don't get embarrassed easily. <laughs> This wasn't at the first church. It was at a, a church plant that we were working in and serving. And so I uh, was preaching. Now, where I grew up, uh, certain words were common mm -hmm. and that aren't necessarily common with everybody else. And some of them weren't even very nice. And I, That's true. I reached the age of 30-whatever and didn't realize that these weren't nice words. So He I'm, learned. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm preaching away, you know, and I'm, we're talking about, uh, you know, men avoiding pornography and women, watch out for, you know, the pornography and, and both of us, men, women, watch out for your pornography and definitely stay away from those slut novels. And so I just went right on preaching away and then, you know, saw a couple people kind of go whoop and I didn't know why. So I'm still going back and I come back to that point and uh, circle around again and I say, once again, avoid those slut novels. I'm, I'm cowering in the front row, but oh my. I didn't know till after the service that that was not really a very appropriate thing to say. So live and learn. And what he meant was smut novels. Yeah, oh, that, thank you. Yeah, that that, that's what that's I meant. That's what he meant. That's, that's what I thought the word meant. Obviously, <laughs> my education lacked a little bit. Oh, the Lord is so gracious to us when we make faux pas over and over again. And I'm not just speaking about you, I'm speaking about me as well. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, goodness. More recently, oh, and yeah. sometimes in tragic situations, things happen that they're not great, but when you look back, mm -hmm. you can laugh. Uh, you we have, have to laugh. Yeah, yeah. You, you do. Um, I was a high school wrestler, a college wrestler. I was an assistant high school wrestling coach for nine years. Uh, I was a high school wrestling official for 20 years and football official for about 18. Uh, so that all comes into play in the story. We had a funeral and abbreviating a lot of this and bringing it down to what we look back now and we can kind of laugh. Um, there was some family conflict and the deceased's wife, spouse, um, was sitting in the foyer and her daughter, their daughter came in and was crying and said, so-and-so saying we shouldn't be here, we shouldn't have done this and shouldn't have done that. And so just go ahead back, don't go back out there, don't talk to them anymore. About 10 minutes later, just before the funeral service is supposed to start. She comes back in, she's crying again, she's gone out there and talked with them and they were not kind in their words to her and so she's crying. Well, Mama Bear gets upset. Understandably so. Oh, of course. Mama Bear gets yes. upset. So she gets up and she starts heading out the double doors in the front. And of course, I get up and I try to grab her and just get her arm and slow her down. Oh no, boom, she shrugs me off. And so she goes stepping out that front door and she looks across the alleyway at the person who's created this conflict and she says, you want a piece of me? Mm-hmm. Fill the blank. Yeah, fill the blank. And the, the answer from across the alley was, yeah. So, <laughs> boom, all of a sudden there's punches being thrown back and forth and I'm stepping out the door and I'm thinking, got to stop this. So I slide down in between the two ladies, two ladies, Two ladies and my shirt gets ripped. I'm catching punches in the back and I'm pushing my lady back into the building and we get her pushed back into the building and separate them and they say, okay, it's time for the service to start. <laughs> think, think, think. Our, my chaplain training comes in for keeping things calm and okay. if anybody would like to participate in a loving, peaceful service, please proceed into the worship center. 
if anyone's interested in anything else, don't bother coming in. Let me say it again. If anyone's interested in a loving, peaceful service, please come into the worship center. Uh, anything else on your mind, please just don't bother. And then I look at the ushers and I say, lock the doors, guys. <laughs> Three big ushers go and find the doors and start locking them. And stay in guard. Yes, they stayed guard. So, you know, you look back now and you just think, how does that look <laughs> from outside? Oh, so you just got to laugh and got to say, bless their hearts. Yes. You know, yes. Um, funerals bring out the good and the bad mm -hmm. in people. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you just got to look back and, and say, okay, now that it's over and done with, punches in the back, ripped shirt, fights, separating, you just got to laugh. You got to laugh. <laughs> you do. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, any of you who have worked with children or have had children, you know that anything can happen, and especially in performance opportunities. And I have had the privilege of, of leading many children's musicals, writing many uh, youth and children's musicals and, and, and directing them as well. And I'm privileged to have to do a lot of professional acting and singing. So that experience comes in very handy when you're working uh, in the church or with any kind of an organization where you're trying to corral uh, children. Well, a couple of stories that I would like to share with you. One of them was we were doing a, a really cool musical with the kids. And I believe it was GT and the Halo Express, mm -hmm. which we... Uh, mentioned in, in a previous video and so there was a scene where they were they were in a gym and so we had borrowed from a, a play that i had done at one of our local theaters a set of bleachers to put up on in, on our platform and during the show that i was in the one of the actors was always chewing gum and sticking it under the the bleachers well that was fine that was part of her character well we get these bleachers to our church and in the middle of a performance one of our five-year-old little kids who was sitting on there she was kind of an extra she was kind of you know moving around a little bit she found that gum and all of a sudden she's pulled it out and she's kind of stretching it out and I'm watching as is everyone else and she just decides to plop it in her mouth and she just starts chewing away and she's just getting more and more and we're going no 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 no, no. well I didn't want to stop the show so well that child had some <clears throat> Some recycled gum, shall we say? <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Poor thing. She's still alive, so that's good. Yes. Anyway, yes. and another time during one of our Christmas musicals, we had a couple of of, of uh, th we had three wise men, and two of them decided that they wanted the same gift to bring to Jesus. They each had their own, but you know there was something mm. about the uh, plastic beads from Dollar Tree, and so they were in this box, this treasure box, and one of the boys had him. He was kind of you know not really paying attention to what was going on. He was playing with the beads, and the other kid decided. The other king said, "Oh, I kind of." want those two so here they are and he starts to play with them and, and there on the stage these two boys are just going back and forth until there's a knockdown drag out with these two kings over who is going to bring the gift to Jesus <laughs> it was so funny I was laughing hysterically <clears throat> as I was directing this and the parents were just mortified I, I, I thought it was hilarious I think Jesus might have laughed at that too. I think so. <laughs> you, you gotta laugh. You absolutely have to laugh it's just wonderful and, and there's something it is good medicine, not just medicine you can bring to others by helping them to to um, just lighten their heart, but the cheerfulness that we have. It's good for us. It helps us. It helps our uh, metabolism. It helps our uh, belly, our abs. It really does. You feel like you get a workout when you have a good laugh. And it's it's scriptural. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And that is not determined by our circumstances at all. The book of Nehemiah. 8, 9, reminds us, excuse me, 9, 8, reminds us the joy of the Lord is our strength. Mm. And it's reiterated throughout the scriptures and especially in the book of, of Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. I think he wanted us to get it. Paul did. <laughs> Rejoice. And the joy that we have in him is, is just immense and such a blessing. It is fun. It is. It is. Fun. It is. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, we've enjoyed putting it together and uh, we've enjoyed life. Uh, oh, we do. It is we great. Do. And so we're thankful for that. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have enjoyed the video, we hope that you will do the click the like button and uh, also subscribe and you can click on that bell and uh, get the notifications for whenever a new video is uploaded. We try to do that at least once a week. Usually a uh, Sunday evening is about when it gets out. And uh, Between the football games. Yes. We're going to do a video in the future on conflict. Because it will be a Colts, Bears, 
house divided. Just saying. Da bears. Stay tuned. Cole's horseshoe. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad you've been with us. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Dave. And I'm Jed. And, and Lord bless you all. May it be so. And for a question of the day, think about this. What kinds of funny things have happened in your church? Things that have made you laugh. Things you remember very, very well. Would you share those with us as well?